Hey everybody, it's Brenda, your Queen Bee of RVs, coming to you from the National RV Training Academy with part seven of our series, Decoding RVs. I know that two areas of uncertainty people have when it comes to learning about operating their RVs are the propane and electric systems. And of course, we have some RV slang that gets thrown around here as well. Let's start your education in these two areas with some understanding of the terms. LP stands for liquefied petroleum, and although that's an umbrella for several gases, it's referring to propane in the RV space. You might be aware of the LP detector on the interior of the coach that helps to protect the occupants in case of a propane leak. The storage vessels we use for RV propane are commonly referred to as tanks or cylinders. Travel trailers and fifth wheels have these upright versions that can be removed and refilled when empty. The motorized coaches have a horizontal tank that is permanently welded to the chassis frame. Both of these need to be filled by a qualified propane dispenser technician. If your RV has propane-fueled appliances like a water heater, furnace, refrigerator, oven, or cooktop, you have several safety features in place when it comes to using propane. Shameless plug, it's also recommended that you have your propane system professionally checked once a year by a certified technician or inspector. Next, we talked about shore power and coach batteries in episode one of Decoding Arvanese, where we also mentioned the term electrical pedestal. This is found at your campsite near the other utility connections. The electrical pedestal usually or hopefully comes equipped with 20, 30, and 50 amp receptacles, AKA outlets. The manufacturer of your rig has already determined the amperage needed to service all your systems and appliances, so no need for guesswork here. Your shore power cord has either a 30 amp or 50 amp plug. If the campground you're visiting does not have a site available with the appropriate service your RV electrical needs, smart campers travel with an assortment of electrical adapter, also known as dog bones, because, well, you can see their shape and figure that one out for yourself. And lastly, the EMS system is a must-have accessory when it comes to RV campgrounds. EMS stands for Electrical Management System, and it protects your RV against power surges and improperly wired pedestals, which can cause expensive damage to your appliances and electronics. I learned all of this and more at the National RV Training Academy, where I became a certified RV inspector and registered technician, and you can too. Head over to nrvta.com and click on Programs to find out more.